What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. We're the Vegan Voyagers. And if you're new here, we sold everything we own to travel the world eating the best vegan food we can find. This month, we're in our favorite city in the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. We're gonna take you around to all our favorite vegan eats here in Sin City. Let's do it. Let's go. Our absolute favorite meal in the entire US is at the Wynn Hotel, which has vegan menus at all their restaurants. The chicken and waffles at the Terrace Point Cafe are the best we've ever had. They're crispy, savory, and sweet all at the same time, and you get an extra kick from the spicy syrup. We're also really big fans of their Caesar salad with guardian chicken strips on top. The Wynn has fantastic Asian fare as well, including Wazuzu. We love their dumplings, but our go-to dish there are the drunken noodles. We also love getting the sushi as well as their fried rice with no egg. If you're looking for a little bit fancier of a meal, we highly recommend Wing Lee. Their food is absolutely delicious and their dishes are more elevated than you'll find at the other Wynn restaurants. So today is Cinco de Mayo. We are outside Pancho's Vegan Tacos, which is a 100% vegan Mexican restaurant here in Las Vegas. We are super excited. They are doing $1 tacos today, so we're gonna go in and eat them all. Here we go. There we go. So we ordered 15 tacos. <laughs> they have El Pastor, chicken, pulled jackfruit, carne asada, soy riso, and we got some rice and beans, a side of cheese and sour cream, and we're gonna eat it all. Happy Cinco de Mayo! So good. Did it. <laughs> we ate so many tacos, but they're so good. My favorite is the carne asada. Mine is definitely the chorizo. It's got a nice flavor and a good amount of heat and just delicious. So good. Highly recommend Don't Miss Ponchos in Vegas. The best vegan donuts in town are from a very unassuming tiny little donut shop called Ronald's Donuts. They're not labeled vegan specifically, but the top two rows are all vegan and include favorites like chocolate, maple, fritters, cream filled, and they have donut holes for only 12 for a dollar. Remember though, they're cash only. If you're looking for something a little less healthy but thoroughly delicious, definitely check out Burgers, Blinders, and Brunch. Our favorite there was the Cha Cha, which had a very Mexican-like vibe with crunchy tortilla strips, avocado, arugula, all on a pretzel bun. Don't forget to top it off with an Oreo chocolate shake. Over the years, Chef Kenny has not disappointed. They have incredible spicy tuna rolls, fried wontons, a Beyond Burger medium rare steak roll, which was delicious and new and innovative. They even have unique items like Chilean sea bass, or you can just have a traditional beef and broccoli dish. Okay, so we're gonna go eat at Lucy's Ethiopian food, and Aaron only just discovered Ethiopian food. After that first time, I have really kind of haven't stopped talking about it. That and Indian food are now my new favorite foods. Oh my God, it was so good. <laughs> they have this super spicy, like lentil -y. so good. I eat the heck out of that, and but our favorite, is I think it's called shiro shiro yeah it's like a tomato uh, based onion garlic chickpea flour so good we ended up ordering an extra side of it really good and the best part is that it's stupid cheap we got the veggie combo platter and it's only 12.99 so. yeah. it comes with seven different sides and yeah by the time you eat all that and you eat the injera and you eat the salad it's just i'm so stopped. good we will definitely be back like 10 more times before we leave. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing that this place isn't really close to where we're staying because it is literally so economical and the food is incredible. Can't recommend this place enough. We also made it over to Hofbra House, which is a German beer hall, and they did have a few vegan options, but not anything really to write home about. We ordered the pretzel, which had some of the best mustard ever the Frankenfurter, the schnitzel, and some of the most giant beers we've ever had. But if you're adventurous like me and you really want the experience, I highly recommend getting the shot and getting the spanking. If 
you're looking for Mexican food over near Mandalay Bay, Husong's is your place. They have some of the best vegan fish tacos we've ever tried. Our next stop was the Modern Vegan, where we started with the nacho cheese dip, had the chicken and waffles, had the biscuits and gravy, and while everything looked really pretty, unfortunately for us, it just didn't have a lot of flavor. Hopefully you'll have a better experience. Our final stop was Veggie Eats Express, and with there we had a few appetizers, but unfortunately they were out of a lot of the dishes that we were excited to try. The food was just kind of okay, and a little on the pricey side. Not our favorite, but maybe you'll have a better experience than we did. 